Today is May 6, 2023. I'm doing a bench compression test on this motor that's going into this 2001 Yamaha SUV Wave Runner. The, uh, the motor that's suspended above it right there, that one's coming out to be rebuilt. This is a uh, known working good one, except the carburetors have not been rebuilt on this one yet. So I will be putting those carburetors, which are brand new, rebuilt, and uh, uh, O-side bill bulletproof by Jimmy Lynch here out of Houston, Texas, KD area. Uh, so those carbs will be going on this super clean. Uh, it's got some dust on it. I just blew that, blew this out of these holes right here. This super clean motor. We got our snap-on tools, compression tester, zero set on cylinder number one. Positive to the uh, starter, negative to the uh, uh, the negative bolt. This battery's at about 12.35 volts, so we should be able uh, to get a good enough test. We got all three spark plugs out. We got the uh, the carburetors uh, removed from it, and we've got the exhaust uh, removed. So we're gonna, we're going to get pretty good airflow on this one. So so here goes cylinder number one. I hate this spark part. go with holy crap awesome compression let's see let me turn my flash off see it a little bit better so we are right at about 135 135 cylinder number one all right we are set to cylinder number two zeroed out One thirty-eight. Last one. We are on cylinder number three. Zero now. One thirty-nine. Beautiful motor. So yeah. So this one. I mean, it is. Besides a little bit of grease and a little bit of dust on this thing, this thing's a super clean motor. So. And the whole thing all the way down to the bottom and this one is just just beautiful so this one going in there with and this is why this one's coming out of there this was discovered after the carburetor rebuild so this crank is getting pulled out of there everything's getting inspected for tolerance the the bearings uh, if necessary I'll just replace the crank the starter bendix uh, needs to be replaced on there uh, all the oil seals need to be replaced uh, I'm just going to pull the bottom end off. Bottom end is performing very well. The top end is a problem on this one. Uh, but these carburetors are brand new, rebuilt by Jimmy Lynch. And so he's got the uh, O-side bill uh, carburetor uh, drill out modification done to them just last week. So this motor ended up being 117, 118, 104. So that one's the bad one there. It's got some scoring inside there and some slop. So that motor's getting pulled. The whole top end is getting uh, rebuilt or replaced on that one whenever I need another 65U motor. Might as well show you this while I got the camera in my hand. A little bit of water down in the bilge from the water test and uh, everything else is just super clean. Fuel tank was pulled on this one. Uh, oil block off kit installed by Jimmy. Uh, it's got a primer, uh, the brand new primer line, the good line, not that crap that you're going to buy off of eBay or Amazon. Uh, what else? What else? What else? This motor mount's getting replaced. That's the uh, the wrong one. It was it was put in there by somebody else. It does work. It's perfect. Uh, it's got the exact same angle and it's set up right. But I'm going to put a stock SUV one back in there. They just didn't have the correct motor mount, so new one's going in. So yeah, this one's getting done right. It's getting put together right up here in Northwest Houston out of uh, Rob Warren's garage with a, uh, uh, what do you call it? With a collaboration with Jimmy Lynch to do the carburetor rebuild on this one. The pistons have been checked for slop. This thing is just beautiful. The rings look awesome on this one. There's cross hatching on the cylinder walls as it should. I mean, this thing is beautiful. Okay. Hope that helps.